Bonjour and welcome to Nat's Easy Cuisine. Today we'll be making a pie crust. This is my grandma's recipe, a taste that I absolutely love from my youth. Um, it is a great pie crust recipe for not only dessert, apple tarts, lemon tarts, etc. but also for quiche. So let's get started. The ingredients for my grandma's pie crust are 7 tablespoons of butter that I cut in little pieces. I have one and a half cup of flour. I have a teaspoon of oil and I have a quarter cup of water. And I might not use all of that water. So what I do is I pour my flour in the container. And what I'm doing, I'm making a little pit, just like this. Around it, I'm going to put the pieces of butter and I'm spreading them out so I'll be able to incorporate them better with the flour. They will mix better. Okay, just like this. Then I'm putting the one teaspoon of oil and just just a pinch of small like of salt like this small and then I'm going to work gently the butter the oil and the flowers together. And as I'm doing this, I'm pressing it in my hand like this. I will slowly add a little bit of water. So I will continue doing this until the old dough is stuck together. See how it's changing? Add a little bit more water and then let's see here how that does. And this crust, this pie crust is great for apple tart, lemon tart, but you can also use it for um, quiche and things like that. So it's starting to stick together just like that. I'm going to add the remaining water. It's going to be a little sticky. As you can see, this takes just two, three minutes and you have an absolutely delicious pie crust. This is the pie crust I remember. I remember the taste from when I was four, five, six, ten years old. And I would go to my grandma and she made apple pie and that crust just is phenomenal. So here it is. It's done. That's what it's supposed to look like. Just like this. And you can keep it in the fridge for a couple of days. Or you can even freeze it and have it ready for when you're ready to make a pie or a tart or anything like that. So here it is, wonderful um, pie crust. So for the apple tart, I'm going to take the pâte brisé we made. I'm going to flour a little bit. 
my work ball and I'm going to try to roll it a little so this crust breaks up very easily so what I do is I just start it on the ball and then I'm going to continue with my hands in the butter pie crust pan that I have ready so you can see uh, we break up easily, but you can patch it together easily too. Add flowers as you need. So I, I don't worry about making it perfectly round because I have mentioned I'm going to patch it together. So to measure I make sure here yeah, that looks good and that's the tricky part sticking it out here and putting it in there so let me move this so now we're putting it in and as you can see it's not very even I make sure that the bottom is in place and then I take pieces and patch it and it'll be just fine here we'll patch here and that's starting to look pretty good okay so what you want to do is I go around and I just pinch all the way around just to make a nice little finish on the top of a crust. And then we're going to slightly cook the crust with the oven preheated at 400 you take a fork and you're going to make sure that you poke holes in your pie crust so I first do the bottom just like this and also I'm going to do the side Just like this and these holes allow the air to come out and your pie crust to not bubble too much so it is now almost ready for the oven here we go this is the way it is it's ready to go in the oven So here is the crust after being cooked in the oven for about 10 minutes actually. Uh, you want it to be a teeny little brown on the side. It is now ready for either an apple tart, a lemon tart or any other kind of tart. But you can also use this crust for quiche. So bon appétit!